Hello everyone, welcome back to Spinville. Pretty happy to be back in uh, City Skylines uh, 1 for another episode. Um, if you notice the visuals on this map are just looking a little bit different, I did install a new mod and uh, change up some of the display settings. So hopefully you guys uh, like how it's looking now. Everything's looking nice and um, crisp. But uh, in our last episode, which was several weeks ago, uh, we finished building up this high density area around this glass box uh, transport hub. And uh, if we come over here, as you can see, it's getting quite a lot of use. Um, there's a lot of people walking around, um, you know, Sims kind of everywhere. It's very uh, hustly bustly um, and all that good stuff, especially right through this area. So they all sort of have to walk around uh, to get up to the other side there. So I'm pretty pleased with how this area is looking. Um, if we come over here, uh, the hint in the last video was that we were going to work on a bit of more of a residential waterfront here. Um, and if you kind of look, uh, come out of the camera mode here, uh, we are getting some warnings about not enough workers and that kind of stuff back in here. Uh, so that's what we'll be working on uh, today. And um, yeah, we'll get started with it. Uh, so the first thing we need to place is a pedestrian service uh, zone. So if we come over to, if I can remember, because it's been a while <laughs> here. Uh, yeah, we'll get a small service area. And uh, let's see if we can maybe just tuck it somewhere. Even just right up in here should be okay. Um, I'm not too worried about uh, the traffic coming from it because this is going to be a residential focus. And uh, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Uh, for the traffic in this area, but uh, yeah, we're gonna make this all pedestrian again and uh, then a great thing is we kind of have this um, Bus connection here that uh, runs on this bus expressway that we built to and from our uh, Cruise ship terminal and uh, yeah, so that's what we'll be kind of working in over here Now we have our uh, pedestrian zone in uh, We'll come in who jumpy <laughs> Uh, we'll grab our pedestrian roads and uh, I want to sort of try and avoid a grid as much as I can. Uh, we've been gridding a lot, especially in City Skylines too. And so we're going to try and kind of up with some like a decently um, creative um, sort of roadway network the best we can. And I just want to take a look at our contours here and just kind of see what we have going on as well. But I think definitely working with the different layers of height in this area is going to be uh, a lot of fun. If we kind of maybe come down here as well along the water the best we can. And we'll try and smooth out what we can as well in this area. And let's see if we maybe just add in a few little grid type areas. And let's just see. I want to make sure there's some nice pedestrian access over here as well. So maybe we'll just make sure we get some uh, paths in place for here. And use the freeform path. We'll connect here as well. Like that. that looks pretty good. And geez, sorry. <laughs> like I mentioned in one of my cities, Skylines 2 videos, I think it was, I'm not used to switching back and forth <laughs> so sometimes uh, the camera's gonna get a little jumpy sorry i will try and uh be as gentle as i can but uh we'll use move it here just to get that better into place actually maybe we'll take that one out and we'll just sort of try and slope it up here instead just like that ah uh, move it how i missed you maybe just give it a little bit of a bend this way and move that down there yeah that's a lot better so um now let's take a look at some of the asses that we can use um yeah, i think i have most of my identity still enabled and um you know i, I really do favor the green cities high density i think it's one of the best <laughs> sort of high densities that they place but I also have some pretty good uh, Rico buildings that we could probably use. So maybe we'll try and uh, place some of these here. So it's keeping in mind with our sort of um, guy line here. If we maybe just take this building and if we can kind of bring it down 
to the front here, and I don't know if it might be a bit big for there, so maybe we'll place it just up here as well. And what else do we have? Blue, blue view condominiums. That actually would look maybe better down here. Um, if we maybe just straighten this road out a little bit. Like so. And then we should be able to sort of fit a couple of them down here. And then we can clean up that train a little bit later. But yeah, kind of the, that's the basic idea. But uh, we'll dip into a time lapse and work on this and then I'll be back.
don't fly too high Be sure to keep the ground in sight Fly forever if you keep it tight Love the world but keep the sky on your mind All right. Well, I'm <laughs> happy to have this uh, turn out like this. I uh, definitely was missing uh, detailing, especially getting all the uh, micro details. Um, and I just haven't quite cleaned up this area, so I'll do that here in a moment. But uh, yeah, this area is getting pretty full of people, which is great. You know, we used a mix of these uh, Rico buildings. Um, I didn't realize they were kind of costing money, so thankfully I have Game Anarchy installed, so it just gave me a little boost. Um, when uh, money was running low but yeah trying to sort of get in um, as many buildings as we could but trying to sort of place them a little nicely use some of the shopping malls dlc assets here again i had to look up the creator for these buildings but uh, they did a beautiful job with a lot of them and they all flow together really nicely uh, put this key wall here and hooked it up and then just put a little bit of you know any mini details i could try and squeeze in uh, my own tiny little plaza just right back in here as well so yeah i'm really uh, happy with how this area is coming together and uh, i'll just uh, quickly clean up this part off camera here all right guys so i cleaned up that area and while i was uh, sort of fiddling around i had this great idea of putting down a ferry route that kind of was almost like a river cruise type idea for tourists and it's already got a pretty big lineup here i uh, just got the game paused but uh Let's see uh, if we come into our line details here, uh, 142, and uh, I really like this ferry because it looked like, you know, something small that could fit under all all the bridges and, and that kind of stuff. So we're going to set ourselves up to follow this ferry and enjoy the views around Spinville. I hope you guys enjoy. Well, everyone, thanks again for tuning in to uh, Spinville. Really appreciate having you here. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, uh, please feel free to give it a comment and a like as well. It really helps increase the reach of the video. And um, I know City Skylines 1 is a bit of a, a small niche uh, now uh, with City Skylines 2 being out. So if you are a fan, please do consider uh, liking and sharing the video and uh, just helping grow the reach of these ones, um, you know, I really do enjoy detailing in City Skylines 1. Can't wait to, for detailing to come to City Skylines 2. But that will do for now today. So take care. Bye-bye.